In this video, we go over the new Tesla Model Y in Europe that has 373 miles of range. Enjoy, Jello fam. All right, guys. So Tesla just launched a Model Y long range rear wheel drive in Europe with 373 miles of range, which is kind of insane because right now in the US, you can only get a Model Y rear wheel drive with 260 miles of range and a Model Y long range in the US with only 310 miles of range. So it looks like the European market is getting a Model Y with 373 miles of range, which is 63 miles more than the Tesla Model Y long range here in the United States. I'm kind of jealous because I used to have a Model Y performance and it only got around 290 miles of range. After that 303 kind of expected range, it went down to 290. And then now Europe, you're getting one with 373 miles of range. This kind of puts it in contention with the um, Tesla Model S long range, which gets around 375 miles of range with the racket wheels and then 405 miles of range with the, the 19 inch wheels. So you're getting a lot of range for this car. However, it is only rear wheel drive, right? So keep in mind if you're driving in the snow, which in Europe there it tends to be kind of, um, it does tend to snow a lot in different parts of Europe. So having that rear wheel drive will be kind of tricky if you're going up to the mountains. Um, however, having that long range of 373 miles is a ton. So this is actually really exciting. Do I foresee this happening in the United States? To be honest with you, not too sure. Because the United States, I think here in the US, we have too much inventory right now of the Tesla Model Y. So Tesla will be less likely inclined to really make a new variant of this car until they re relinquish or release all most of their inventory. I'm pretty sure in their, their supply chain, Tesla saying, hey, we have too many Model Ys right now. Let's try and sell everything before we push out the um, new version of the Model Y, right? Whether they had that Project Juniper Model Y that's coming out that may have that 373 miles of range, we don't know. But I foresee Tesla really trying to liquidate all of their inventory before really giving, giving us a new variant of the Model Y. Think of it as the Model 3. When the Model 3 Highland came out, Tesla had lots of sales on the older Model 3s, $7,500 off uh, for the EV tax rebate. Then they were giving kind of like, um, discounts on top of that $7,500 rebate because they really, really wanted to get rid of the supply they had of the Model 3. For us in the US, we still haven't got that, right? The major news right now is Tesla had a lot of layoffs, about 10% of the workforce. So they're trimming their expenditure when it comes to the workforce. But right now they still have a ton of inventory on the Tesla Model Y. But let's go kind of into this, this new variant of the, um, the Model Y in Europe that has a 600 kilometer or aka 373 miles of range and currently it has the lowest cost per kilometer in the electric suv segment at 14.9 kilowatts per 100 kilometers or 240 watt hours per mile which is extremely efficient for those of you guys who are very curious so recently europe has a 79 kilowatt hour battery in the long range variant and that's kind of in the single motor variation and this Model Y is currently produced in Giga Berlin, and it's not really different from the Y rear wheel drive long range, all wheel drive performance. They just have a much more efficient battery and much more efficient range. Keep in mind this 373 miles of range, this is only applicable if you have the Gemini wheels. So if you're gonna have the normal the normal wheels for the, the Model Y, which I believe were, were the um, which were the induction wheels, you will have less range, right? I know for the the Model Y uh, in the U.S., if you were to get the induction wheels, you would go from two hundred from three hundred ten miles to around two hundred ninety two miles. So you're getting around like eight percent less range, give or take, with those wheels. So I'm assuming you'd probably get eight percent less range of of um, the Model Y, if you get the the um, if you go from the rear wheel drive Gemini wheels all the way to the the induction wheels for the the Model Y, so if you get eight percent less range, you're going from about 373 times 0.92, you're getting around 343 miles of range, which is still a lot more than the Model Y in the U.S. for the Gemini wheels, right? Keep in mind Tesla was forced by the, the US to kind of 
lower down their EPA range because many drivers were starting to see that, okay, you guys are promising us 330 miles of range, which was the previous range of the Model Y, but then they were finding out it was way less, which is true because if you've owned a Tesla before, you'd know that Tesla really tries to kind of make the numbers much higher where you'll see it, oh, this is 330 miles of range, but I'm really getting 0.7 or 70% of that expected range. So you're kind of, little in this weird like uh this weird place where you're expecting more range but you're not really getting it i'm kind of glad the us made tesla do this because i had a model y model s model 3 and i was really getting 0 0.8 0 0.7 or aka 70 percent 80 percent of the actual range and i'm left thinking what's going on i paid for more range that's actually what happened my first car my first tesla which was a model 3 rear wheel drive 260 miles 270 miles of range this is a ton i don't need it realize i'm really getting only 70 percent of that and i'm not driving the car all the way down from 100 down to one percent five percent i'm really driving to 20 percent 10 percent and i found myself constantly charging because i love to drive go on road trips and that battery was too small for me so moving over to the model s long range from 270 miles of range to around 375 miles of range was a complete game changer for me. And I'm glad Tesla has a variant of this in Europe where you get 373 miles of range on the Gemini wheels. That's gonna be a game changer for everyone in the European market because you're able to drive a lot farther, you're able to go more road trips. And I think the European market will really respond well to this large, much larger amount of range, especially for this, um, this 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 uh variant of the ball y which is tesla's best-selling car so the new version is available in most but not all european markets i believe it is currently available in austria um czech republic uh denmark finland germany uh belgium luxembourg switzerland uh spain portugal norway sweden iceland italy greece poland slovenia romania and hungary uh, so we do have this variant coming to these countries, which is great, especially if Tesla is producing it from Giga, Gigafactory Berlin. They should be able to si ship out the car to different European countries and have their supply chain here heavily focused on um, that car in Giga Berlin. I kind of find it fascinating. Usually Tesla put most of their updates come from Giga Shanghai. They test it out in the Asian markets and then they bring it out to Europe and then they bring it out to the US. But it looks like they are pushing it first in the European market and doing it in Giga Berlin, which is really good. So I find that kind of interesting. If you are curious and you're watching my content from the European market, the rear wheel drive currently costs about 44,990 euros. Maximum range rear wheel drive, which is your 370 uh, miles of range. That is 48,990 euros. So about for around 4,000 more euros, you get more range. I suggest you do it. Don't go cheap out for 4,000 less euros to get a less range car. Get the one with the max range because it is a lot uh, it, it's worth it, right? Especially if you drive a ton. So that is, which is, it's interesting for me. If you decide to get an all wheel drive, you're going to go from 48,990 euros to 54,990 euros. And that will give you a different range, right? The, the rear wheel drive has the most range at 600 km, which is, um, around 370 or so miles of range. And then if you jump to the max all wheel drive for this, you're gonna go from 500 kilometers instead of that 600 kilometers. So 500 kilometers to miles, that's about um, a big a big switch um, in, in uh, you're gonna get about around 331 so miles of range. So you're gonna kind of drop to that, that similar US number for the all wheel drive, right? I think hopefully if the US in the future, hopefully for us here, they do release the Model Y rear wheel drive and give us that 370 miles of range, that will be a complete game changer for us because um, in the US, right, if you're just road tripping, if you're not really going on the mountains, all these kind of like snowboarding, all this good stuff, you, you just need a rear wheel drive that has a lot of range to get you to and from work, to and from your location for your uh, for your traveling needs. So really do your best to like, hopefully Tesla can do this for us where we get the rear wheel drive. Because honestly, I might switch to a 
Model S to a Model Y rear wheel drive if we get 370 miles of range. If it has updated interior for like the Project Juniper, similar to the Model Model 3 Highland, and if we get the $7,500 rebate, that's a great deal for us in the United States. So hopefully Tesla allows us to get this variant. But my hypothesis is that right now Tesla's not going to because there's a large amount of inventory still in the Model Y in the U.S. and then they just had a bunch of layoffs. So. There's going to be a lot of reprioritizing for certain organizations, certain roles for certain teams. So I'm not sure if we're going to have like a product launch in the near future. Uh, they probably need to get this straight first. And then once they liquidate most of the interfering model Y, then they'll probably start producing different variants. And I hypothesize they probably produce it first in China. And then once it gets kind of validated in China, they'll move over to the US market. The US market is usually the last to get all the updates because they like to validate all the updates in Europe as well as in Asia. And then when they have the more, I believe like kind of like a refined product um, from testing, beta testing from all their other countries, they'll bring it to the United States, um, which which is kind of what I, I, I've been seeing with, with like the Model 3 Highland, right? And we'll see how, how everything goes with that. But yeah, so Tesla has a new range uh, variant for the Model Y rear wheel drive, get around 370 miles of range, and that is currently available in Europe, not so much here in the United States or in China and Giga Shanghai. So hopefully we'll see some updates. Hopefully we'll see some updates. But Jello family, appreciate you guys watching the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We have the EV Forum Club. If you want to learn more about EVs, post question jamming on EVs, uh, check out the EV Forum Club. It has all my videos as well. I post that uh, on the website. Have some affiliate links for some Tesla products if you want to look at the products I use for my Tesla. Click that link down below. I do get a commission from that. It is Amazon affiliate links. Um, also, please sign up for my newsletter, The Silicon Buddy. It's just a way for me to connect with you guys, send you guys out emails on any updates I have for my channel or Tesla in general. I have updates on my video. Also, please subscribe to my Angelo Carlos Talks channel where I talk about business, tech, finance, whatever it may be. I uh, have great podcasts. I interview a lot of industry experts on finance, on tech, on business, and it's the link down below as well. So check that out. And uh, Jello family, we appreciate you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We're growing so fast. I appreciate you guys. Like I said every day from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so, so much. Have an amazing day, Jello family, and peace.